Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to add conditions or rules for our discount rules based on certain parameters like subtotal, user role, categories, products, purchase history and more. Alright? Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the different conditions or rules you can add to your discount rules. Right? Let's first get to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find more discount rules. Here's where you can start creating your new rules by clicking on the add new rule button. Once we click on the button, we'll be taken to the rule configuration page where we can actually set the rule up. Alright, let's first enter a title. I'm going to say adding conditions. Alright. After which we're going to select the discount type. This doesn't change. This is up to your choice. So if you click on this drop down, you can select any of the discount types that you want to add to your specific discount group. Alright. So I'm going to be selecting a product adjustment discount type. And then we regularly go with the filter where we select the products that are eligible for the specific discount, isn't it? After we complete that, we set the discount type and the percentage value. Let's assume a 10%. Okay, and here comes the add condition part. So to add conditions or rules to your discount rule, you'll have to click on this add condition button. Let me show you through the different conditions that are available in Mood Discount Rules plugin. The very first condition is a cart condition. All right, so this deals with conditions that apply to the cart specifically. The first one goes like this, subtotal. We know this, we are familiar with subtotal discounts, isn't it? So if customer's cart value reaches a certain value as defined in the rule, then customers will be able to get a discount. For example, if I click subtotal here and set greater than or equal to 100, it means my customers must have their cart value 100 or above, only then they'll be qualified for this 10% discount. All right, so that is how subtotal discounts work. Let's go with the next condition, item quantity. So this is when you want to give discounts based on the number of items added to the cart of the customers. All right, it's simple and it's similar to the subtotal discount. And then coupons. So if you want to have coupons added to your discount rules, where you want to activate this specific discount rule, only when a coupon is entered manually by the customer, then you can click on this coupon option and create a new coupon. Give a coupon a name, for example, Deluxe. So if the customers enter this particular coupon in the cart, then they'll be able to get 10% discount. All right, so this is amazing, isn't it? Let's move to the next condition. Similarly, total weight payment method, line item count, all of these are cart specific conditions. So let's go for payment method, for example, you can also provide discounts for specific payment methods opted by the customer. All right. For example, if I select cash on delivery here, it means only if this condition satisfies, then the customers will be able to receive a 10% off. Meaning the customer should opt for the cash on delivery method. Only then they'll be able to get this 10% off. All right. Nice. Next, let's move on to cart items. So cart item conditions are ones where specific items or attributes or category are checked in the cart and only if those categories or attributes are present in the cart then they'll be qualified for the discount all right so for example if i set card items products here and enlist a specific product named beanie it means that customers card should contain at least one quantity of this beanie product only then they'll be qualified for the 10 percent off all right. So similarly, you can also mention specific attributes, category, SQ, and then product combination, category combination, etc. All right. So these are some card items, specific conditions. The next goes with date and time. So date and time conditions are when you want 
discount rules to be specific for a date or a time all right so you can go for that as well and the next comes purchase history conditions of course there are different conditions you can add when you consider purchase history discounts and we have a separate video that explains how this is possible which is also attached in the description below feel free to watch it okay, next comes the shipping conditions where you can offer discounts based on specific country or city etc for example if i select country here and enlist india or indonesia it means that the discount 10 percent off will be applicable only if the customer's country shipping country is either india or indonesia all right so all india and indonesia customers with that specific shipping address will receive 10 percent off all right similarly you can go for state and zip code etc based on your requirements and the next condition is billing so just like the shipping address here the billing address is considered all right and if the billing address matches this specific city then the customers will be given a discount similarly customer specific conditions like email user and is logged in or user role so you can also provide discounts for specific customers where you can filter by their email address or their user role all right for example if i click on user role here and select only contributor then this particular discount will apply only to customers who fall under this user role contributors all right so this is how we use different conditions to our rule to make it more targeted and persuasive all right likewise you can also add multiple conditions to the same discount rule for example right now i have a user role condition already added which applies only to customers who fall under contributor user role isn't it so if i click on add condition here and select subtotal greater than 500 it means that only if both of these conditions match then 10 percent discount will be offered to the customer that is customer should belong to the contributor user role as well as their subtotal should exceed 500 dollars all right so you can decide if you want discount rules to be applied only if both the conditions are matched or either one of these conditions are matched using this conditions relationship if you select match all here it means that both of the conditions or any number of conditions mentioned in the rule all of those conditions must be matched in order for customers to gain the discount but if you select match any it means that any of the conditions mentioned here must satisfy in order for customers to receive the discount all right nice that is something i wanted all of it so here we go please check out the different conditions and start creating your discount rules today thank you so much for watching